Well, Simon, a frustrating afternoon today. The, the nature of the goals, I guess, would disappoint you probably more than anything. Yeah, we we started well. Um, obviously, we get in front, and you know the feeling was, you know, we were in decent place, and um, and we just lost our way really. You know, we didn't play well uh, as the game went on. I think. Um, and that wasn't helped by the goals. You know, after half time, goals goals changed the momentum of games. And um, you know, we have to we have to accept that that wasn't good enough today. Having said all of that, um, Dagger and Redbridge, I know they won't surprise you today. But what a good side they are! Yeah, you know, they are a good side, um, and I think we have to you know give them credit for that. But um, you know, I think we um, allowed their their way of being you know to, to grow into the game. And um, you know, we all have to take responsibility for that. I don't think we need to. You know, panic. I think it's uh, it's an off day that's been punished. We would have all hope that that wasn't the result, and equally that wasn't the performance. But um, you know, and some of that is the fact that you know we didn't do our bit well enough, and some of that is that they they played well, and um, we have to take it on the chin, have broad shoulders, accept it, move on. JJ was on co-commentary with me today, and he said. You felt that we needed to get to half time at 1 0, but of course, there was that controversial moment with the free kick. What, how did you view that one? Have you spoken to the referee at all about it? No, I don't want you know, um, to make excuses. You know, they, they had momentum, they had pressure, um, and uh, it's a goal. So I'm not going to make any excuses for any part of you know, the goal today. It's too easy to blame the referee. We need to do our job. Strange incident in the second half when Angelo Balanta went down on the edge, yeah. of, edge of our box yeah. and, and the game was stopped. What was he, again, what was your well, it, was, it was a worrying um, one because, I mean, what he's done his hamstring, but the way he went down, uh, you know, I think we all absolutely feared the worst. And I think we've all seen, obviously, with you know, Christian Eriksen this summer, and it, it, it appeared to be something far more serious than a hamstring. So, you know, what, what, what can you do? You know, if you see someone who's seriously concerned, had. You know, a, an incident like that, and you, we've all got to do the right thing: stop the game and make sure the players are right. Yeah. It turns out to be a hamstring. You know, what can you do? I know you wouldn't have got overexcited if we'd won today, and I take it it's the same thing. If you, as you've lost, you, you're probably not going to overly analyse this one either, and just move on to the next game. Yeah, look, you know, we, I have to be honest about it and say, you know, I'm, I'm gutted with the way we performed today. We didn't, we didn't perform well enough, and so the players, you know, there's no. Um, no hiding away from that, but I think it's also right to say that you know one bad performance doesn't make you a bad team. You know we've got a long, long season ahead of us. There'll be some other teams that want to compete today that have had bad results, I'm sure, or results they didn't hope for. Um, and and we are strong enough and we are good enough to you know bounce back quickly. Um, it's not going to be straightforward. You know no games are. Um, but what, what I do believe is, and I do believe in what we're doing, um, and we've had a bit of an off day and it's been punished. So, yeah, not going not gonna to worry, not going to panic. I'm going to do, do my job. I'm going to get back on the training pitch, going to analyse what, what could have been better and go into ne next week's game. And you went into today's game, of course, without your, your big signing from the summer, without Scott Quigley. Will he be available, do you think, for next week? Yeah, we'd be hopeful, and I think he was a miss today for the type of game it was. Um, you know, and I, I think... Um, in these games, it's going to be important to have you know as many players fit and available who are you know big players if you like. Yeah, you need them, and um, yeah, I think he was a miss today, and that's not uh, being detrimental to anyone else because the type of selection we went for today is a different attribute, and we yeah. um, you know we got off to a good start. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to have Scott back. Commiserations, but thanks for your time. Pleasure. Yes,